what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this awesome, modern, underground base. If you enjoyed this tutorial, all I ask is that you please hit that like button, and if you managed to make it all the way to the end, share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. But without any further ado, let's get started. Before we get things started here, these are the list of materials that you are going to need to make the base, and you should be able to see how much of that stuff you'll need as well. So make sure that you have access to all of those materials and enough of them. The entrance to the base requires this much space that I have laid out on the ground. Underneath the ground is a completely different story, but this is the amount of ground space. Pause the video if necessary, do make sure that everything is in order, and once you are ready, we can begin. The first thing that we are going to make is the stairs that lead us into the base. I'm going to begin by digging a row of five in the ground. On the left and the right sides of the hole, I'm placing grey concrete. In between, I'm placing a set of quartz stairs. Digging in front of those quartz stairs, we want to create another hole that will allow us to gradually place another set of quartz stairs coming down into the ground. In total, we want to have five sets of stairs, so we have two right now. That would be three. Four, five. That's about as deep as the hole goes. I'm going to clear out all of the grass in front of this. This is three rows of grass and I am just digging directly down into the ground and I actually want to dig one row lower than the stairs that we have placed. I'm going to place some white concrete in front of the stairs, like this. I'm going to dig out a double wide hole in front of the white concrete as we come down the stairs. I'm going to dig another hole and that is where the entrance is going to be. So I'm going to dig out the floor here, place white concrete, and I'm going to place an iron door in this position so you can see where the entrance is physically going to be. Iron pressure plate in front of this. I'm going to dig around the door. Upside down stairs above it. Grey concrete left and right. And then we have to excavate the entire rest of the area meaning we just have to dig out all of the remaining grass or dirt or whatever and we have to replace it using grey concrete. So the only goal is that we don't see any dirt as we are walking up and down into our base. So you don't have to go crazy here, you just have to make sure that you have a nice smooth wall like this. And I'm also going to replace the dirt above the entrance as well. And I'm doing the same to the opposite side. Perfect. So we now have a very fancy looking set of stairs. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to provide a bit of light. I'm just going to dig into the walls in between the stairs and the entrance double wide and I'm going to place redstone and then redstone lamps in front like this so we've got something that's just a nice little bit and lit up. Okay now I have to pop a potion of night vision because I'm going to enter the base and I want to dig three different directions so left of me directly behind this door which is why we placed it we want to dig five rows. One, two, three, four, five. Right of us, five rows. One, two, 
three, four, five. We want to dig forwards ten rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. But we also want to dig another row above us as well. So just in case that slipped by you a little bit, I've dug left five, right five, forwards ten, above one, and we want to completely clear out this entire area, and this is going to be the size of the base. So this is what the base will look like once it has been completely cleared out. We will have to do more cleaning out afterwards, but this is what we want to have right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do, now that we have cleared out some space in the base, I'm going to knock out the dirt of the first wall, the back wall, as we enter, and I'm going to replace it using grey concrete to make it look a bit fancier. All of the walls will be replaced, however some of them are fancier than others. I'm also creating an entrance around the door using white concrete like this. We want to have a pressure plate that allows us entrance and exit, so I'm going to replace this block here with white concrete and a pressure plate will allow us to get in and out. Okay, so now that that front wall is done, I want to focus on this back wall. The back wall is really easy. As a matter of fact, we're just going to place an entire row of grey concrete in front of it. We're also going to take the very middle of the wall, and we're going to dig two spaces in, block of redstone, lamp in front. I'm even going to delete the ceiling as well. I know that we already took a row out of the ceiling, however, I'm going to take out an additional row and place grey concrete in there instead. Like that. If you like, you can add lights to the ceiling or even change the colour. So, the next thing I want to do is tackle the right wall. So as you walk into the base, to the right, this wall are right here. I'm going to start off by placing a row of grey concrete directly in front of the wall. Right in the middle of the wall, I'm going to have the same sort of redstone lamp set up that I have everywhere else. I'm going to grab a little bit of red concrete, as I want to have a row of vertical red concrete left and right of the lamp. Some white concrete either side of the red, like this, and that is what we want to do with that wall. It is a very sort of similar story over here. So this wall, we want to place grey concrete vertically on the left and right side of the wall. We want to place upside down quartz stairs coming inwards from the bottom and regular quartz stairs coming inwards from the top. Place a row of grey concrete on the inside of this and dig out the dirt in the middle of the stairs and replace it with white concrete. I'm going to place a row of red concrete in between the grey and I'm going to place white concrete in the middle at the bottom, white concrete in the middle at the top, dig out that dirt, redstone, redstone lamp, like this. I'm going to extend the grey concrete next to the stairs on the inside forwards by two rows. One, two. One, two. I'm going to connect them together using quartz slabs. I'm also going to dig out the area just in front or in between the quartz slabs and I'm gonna fill it in with white concrete. That seems like a good material. Any material would do, however. 
We're going to place a red concrete in the very center of the room. You might be wondering how you find it. Well, basically, where you have the lamps on the middle part of the room and the door, you can quite easily find the middle, if you know what I'm saying. It's in the same line as the pressure plate, but also the same line as the lamp, so it should be quite easy to find. The reason that this is relevant is because I'm now going to decorate the room a little bit. I'm going to use red beds here, and I'm going to dig out two rows, either side or every side outwards of the red concrete. And I'm going to place inward facing beds towards the central red concrete. I'm also going to dig around the beds like this, somewhat like a flower shape, and I'll be replacing these using red concrete. Like that, it just creates a cool pattern. I'm going to make the entire rest of the floor white concrete. This also includes, well, I'm not sure whether to underneath the quartz stairs, whether to use grey concrete or white. It's personal preference, but I think I'm going to go with grey in this particular case. However, dig out the entire rest of the floor and make it white concrete. And also remember to replace this block here underneath the quartz slabs, it's easy to miss. But you can see we've got quite a defined room at this point, it looks really fancy, or at least it does to me. Now that we have this fancy room, it's time that we fill it up with some stuff, so I'm going to begin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this wall by wall. The first wall that I'm going to tackle is the wall to the left of us, I'm gonna go around clockwise because that's how my brain works. Birch fence, jungle leaves, water, flower pot, poppy. I'm going to place a birch fence in the two bottom corners of the room with two jungle leaves on top. I'm going to place flower parts in the two crevices we created using stairs and I'm going to place poppies inside. I'm going to dig up above where we have the red concrete, the white and the red, and I'm going to place water coming down like this to create a water feature. I'm going to flip now to this back wall, and this back wall doesn't require much love at all. All it needs is an enchantment table, a bookshelf, and some quartz stairs. I'm going to place an enchantment table below the light in the wall, and I'm going to place bookshelves completely surrounding the light. I'm going to extend out the bottom two shelves on either side, and place quartz stairs in the corner. That's a nice looking bookshelf. We then want to focus our attention on this wall right here. We need ender chests, paintings, furnace, crafting table, and even some regular chests. I'm going to place an ender chest underneath the glowstone, or redstone lamp. I always say glowstone, I'm so silly. Well, what we want to do is on the left side, I'm going to double up a crafting table, chests above, and I'm going to place a painting above them. Similarly, on this side, I'm going to place furnaces, double chests above, with a painting under- that is such an ugly painting. That's better. It's the same painting, but I, I do like it, so hey, why not? And you will find that once that has been done, ladies and gentlemen, you have a very nice little modern base that has some storage, an enchantment area, some beds, and a cool water feature. And, and that's pretty much all we need. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button, as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. It really does. Also, if you do want to, if you have made it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. Without any further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. I do hope that you did enjoy the video very much, as much as I enjoyed making it. Now I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.